Total internal reflection. When light travels from a more dense medium into a less dense medium, it is refracted away from the normal. So here we've got glass and air, and the light ray is coming from the glass into the air. Now, as this wavefront comes in, this bit gets out first, so it speeds up, and this tends to bend the light ray away from the normal. Here comes the wavefront, it gets into the air, it speeds up, and so it's bent away from the normal. At angles of incidence greater than the critical angle, we see total internal reflection, where the boundary acts as a mirror, and I equals R, the law of reflection holds. At the critical angle, the light ray is refracted along the boundary. So this is the critical angle here, okay? So here we're seeing refraction, we're being bent away from the normal. There will come a point where you're bent so far away from the normal that you're actually being refracted along the boundary. Here we're getting bending away from the normal, there's more bending away from the normal. Now here you see that we're being refracted along the boundary. Below the critical angle, this one here, the light gets into the less dense medium. Here, it's refracted along the boundary. Now here, we have our angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, and so it can't be refracted, and what happens instead is it is reflected. So when I is less than the critical angle, light gets into the air. When I is equal to the critical angle, light is refracted along the boundary. And when I is greater than the critical angle, light is totally internally reflected. And I equals R. Thank you.